Hello everybody and welcome to Krista So Crafty. My name is Krista and today I'm going to be taking a teacup and I'm going to put some vinyl on it to personalize it for a friend. So I'm going to go over to des into design space and I'm just going to click on the T for the text and I'm going to move it over to the right. I'm just going to type out my message which is things and period space and but memories last forever. I'll show you in a minute here. Let's make that a little bit smaller so we can see it. There we go. So this is how it's going to look like on the mug and I think I'm going to left justify it. And yeah, now we need to go and change the font. So I'm going to go under the font over up here on the top left and I'm going to go under system and I'm going to search for one called bright dream. which is right here. This is just a nice little font and I think it's gonna work well for our project. So I'm not going to worry about the spacing in between because I'm going to be putting each one of these down individually. And the reason being is the cup is on a bit of a slant. And if I try to do it all at once, it's gonna curve. So I will put each row individually down onto the teacup. But we do want it to be three, and it's close, but I'm just going to make it to three inches wide, like that. And I think that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and click Make It. We don't need to worry about mirroring it or anything else because we're just using regular vinyl. I'm going to click Continue, and once we get into here, I'm going to choose Vinyl. And actually, I wonder if we should... No, we'll stick with vinyl. I was going to change my mind and I was going to use washi tape. Sometimes if you're doing a, a intricate design, if you use the washi tape feature or option, it sometimes cuts better, but I think I'll stick with vinyl. So we'll stick with vinyl. Uh, I'm not sure what. There. there we go. Okay, so we'll stick with vinyl and we will start cutting. Okay, so this is the cup. It's by Tea Kettle. It says ceramic mug. And it comes in this nice little box. So we're going to open this up here. And it comes with this beautiful lid. Like I said, it's ceramic. And then in here is the beautiful mug. I think it is just absolutely gorgeous. And I love the gold trimming on there. And the little gold, the accent. And so what I'm going to do is we are going to use this gold vinyl to put our words on here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her name on one side maybe and the verse on the other or maybe just the verse. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I think I'll just put the the verse or the quote that we're going to put on there. Just that. No name at all. But I'm going to use this vinyl. I think that'll look so pretty. It'll match fairly well with the gold that's on here. So let's get into this. So I'm first thing I'm going to do is clean my mug. I'm going to use rubbing alcohol right here. It's 70% rubbing alcohol. I just get some of this and I do this with everything that I put vinyl on. Now I'm going, I'm pretty sure she's right-handed. So I'm going to put the vinyl on the opposite side facing out and I'll go like this. You know what, I'll just clean the whole surface just to make sure. And what this does is it removes all any dirt, debris, um, oils from your fingers, anything like that from the packaging plant, anything. So now I'm just going to set that aside. And I'm wondering if we should put something on here. Maybe we could put her name on here. That might be nice. I'm just going to clean it just in case. All right, so I'll set that over there. Close this up. And I'm going to get this going here. All right, so I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to bring in my mat. And yes, it's still a big mess, but it works, so it's okay. And I'm going to use a piece of this gold vinyl. I'm going to press that down with my brayer 
make sure it's down really good. Open this up and we're going to start cutting. Here's our weeded item, things end, but memories last forever. I am going to put the transfer tape on here. I just have a scrap piece that I've been using. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to put it right over top. I'm going to get my scraping tool and I'm going to scrape that down. We want to make sure that this is, adheres to the transfer tape and I always flip it over and go from scrape from the back side. And now we will start removing the, the backing. Just watch out for all those little pieces and big pieces. <laughs> Make sure that they stay on the transfer tape. And there we go. But what I want to do, I'm just going to put this back on here real quick because I want to cut these apart. I forgot. So just going to Oh, these scissors have seen better days, let me tell you. I think I need to go and buy some new ones. All right, now I'm ready to start putting these on the cup. I'm bringing in a cup. And I'm going to get my little cradle. I'm just going to move some of this stuff out of the way. And I'm going to bring this in. And I'm going to set this right here. So I can see it this way because I want the vinyl to be on the side that she's holding away from herself. And now I'm going to start with the center one. So the butt memories. I'll take that paper off. And my puppy dog is sleeping behind my chair. I have to be careful what I'm doing here. All right. Let's try this. So let's put it right there. If you're careful, you can lift it back up again if you need to. So I think right there. And we'll push that down. And I'm going to use my little scraping tool. And gently scrape that down. Time to take the transfer tape off. I'm going to be very gentle removing this. Pull it flat against the object. That looks so good. So I'm going to do the top one now. I'll take that off. And I'm going to try to line this up as best I can and keep it straight. Ooh, that's a squeaky noise. Like this. Like that. And last forever. I'm going to put that down and again I'm going to try to line it up as best I can. Whoa. Come on. So right about there I think. Like that. And then we'll take this transfer tape off. And I just love that gold on the pink. Oh, that looks so pretty. Look at that. That just looks so, so pretty. I thought it was going to be too big, but I don't think it is. I, I really like that. I love it. I love, love, love it. So the question is, do we put something here? That is the question. Yeah, I think I've got it figured out. So I really like how this turned out. So I think on this side, I'm just going to do like a small daisy again in this gold. And then on the lid, I'm just going to write her name. So let's go and do that.
Back in Design Space, first thing we're going to do is going to go look for a flower. So I'm going to go into Images and I'm just going to type flower. Press Enter and see what comes up. Well, how about that one right there? I think that might be really cute. Um, sometimes you just can't overthink things. You just, you know what? I like that one. Let's go with that one. So we'll add to Canvas. And as far as the size, I think we need to be about the three inch as well. Whoops, in height, I mean, three inches in height. Oh, that's still pretty big. I don't want it that big. I think I just would like a tiny little flower, something like that. So, wow, that's like one and a half, not even. Well, let's try to get it. Let's make it too wide. Wow, see, that's pretty big. I don't think I want it that big. I know, I'm arguing with myself. I do this all the time. Let's try 1.3. Whoops, 1.3. There, let's leave it at that. Okay, so we will make the flower 1.3. And now I want to use the same font, so the Bright Dream, to make to type out Gloria's name. So we'll type Gloria. I think that'll be good. So I'm just going to hide this because we don't need it. And I think we're good to go. So I'm going to do these both in the gold so they're fine the way they are. You know what? Let's make sure they're the same color. And they're not. So we want to make sure. Otherwise, they'll be on different mats. So same mat. I'm going to click Make It. Again, we do not need to um, reverse this. So I'm going to click Continue. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to use a little those little pieces that I saved from before. Okay, so this is what I've done. I have weeded out this little flower, which is just adorable, and Gloria's name. I think this is going to be good. So let's bring in this little handy dandy stand that I have and put this back on here. I've already got the transfer tape on here, burnished down, so I'm just going to take the backing off carefully like so and this has already been cleaned so i'm going to put it right now remember when you're putting vinyl on things you want to put it down far enough that your mouth your lip isn't going to be touching on the vinyl because the vinyl is not food safe so how about right there yes i like that so again, we'll take the scraper, well, we'll push it down first. Take the scraper and rub it down. And then I'm going to pull the transfer tape off. Perfect. Just make sure that that's laid down. I always go across with my thumb. Oh, I think that's so pretty. So pretty. And then the other side. All right, I'm going to bring this in. Now this has a little bit of a, a lip up. So I think I'm going to have that lip up there. And I have the vinyl with Gloria's name. And again, it's already been burnished and everything. So we'll take the backing off and put that on just like so push that down use my scraper and let's remove the, the tape i just love this gold on this pink it looks so pretty There we go. So this is what her cup will look like. Personalized just for her. I think it's gorgeous. Let's take one more look at this. So here's the lid. It's got her name on it. I love the shimmer. And I like how it matches the gold trim on the top rim as well as on the handle. 
And I also just love this little flower on here. It's just so delicate, so pretty. And then on the other side is the saying, things end, but memories last forever. I hope that she will love this. I, I really hope that she'll love this. And that's it. This was a fun little project. Taking this mug, this little teacup, and putting the saying on it, things end, but memories last forever, is a beautiful little sentiment. On the back side, we have the beautiful daisy. I think it's just so pretty. And then, of course, we put her name on the top of the lid. So this is be something that she can sit and drink her morning tea and enjoy herself. So thank you again for joining me today on Christmas So Crafty. If you enjoyed this type of content, please give my video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I'd love to have you join our little family here and click on the little bell so you receive notification when I upload new videos. So thank you again for joining me and happy crafting.